In the morning, we woke up and we spoke with the leaders and um, the preachers uh, that were around the area. And we learned something that was amazing, and that was they haven't spoken, they haven't come together to um, and, and be united and do things as a team until we came along, which is so lovely. She knows there's something to eat. Tufungwe. Tufungwe. <laughs> ah, there we go. Mmm, it has melted. Uh, right now we are just setting up for our first uh, outdoor event. We want to have a crusade, after which we will have uh, a film to watch, the Jesus film, then we call it a day. Any? Can you accept the other? And yeah, we're looking forward to the movie, hoping that lots of guys are going to give their lives to Christ and basically we'll just be able to do what God sent us here to do. We are doing mic, uh, mic checks for the crusade we are going to have tonight. Everywhere many people are going to get saved. And I really wish you guys were all here because it's going to be awesome. Support missions. Missions are great for everyone concerned with you and the people you are going to minister to. See you back at home. Uh, it's for the first time we're holding a crusade in Kasangani. We are doing the setup. For the first time, the pastors in Kasangani have joined together for the sake of the uh, for the sake of working with the team and seeing transformation in Kasangani. <laughs> We are gathering the Makutis to help roof the church. You can see the roof is quarter way done, and by the time we leave here, it needs to have been completed so that people have a place to worship. So, back to work. Right, boys, we want it more this way. <laughs> Take it to the side, yeah, that's good, that's good enough, yeah. yeah. Oh, we are trying to set up the screen to show the film tonight. Yes, we are just fixing it right now, over here, between these two poles. Yeah. <laughs> Set up a bit of uh, present worship and uh, music with evening to welcome guys to come over here Thank to our revival meeting and uh, show the Jesus film. We're just setting up for the crusade, and uh, it's an amazing experience working with the locals. We're having a great time. Yeah. <laughs>
to man in his own image and likeness. He always wants to be close to man. And therefore God had to do something to bring man back to him. And so God sent the prophets so that there can be a mediator between mankind and God himself. Amen. Amen. The missionary safari church. And the pastors who are here. Just come and lay hands on these people. Pray that God will visit them. That God will touch their lives. Yesterday when they came for the prayer meeting, when uh, Pastor Rogo did the altar call, and people came forward to pray, they're coming so expectant, with so much. They come and tell you problems, and they just expect a solution. <coughs> but we're not the ones who provide these solutions. Yeah. The solutions come through the power of the Holy Spirit. And so we have to be moving in the Holy Spirit, in the power of the Holy Spirit, in order to make an impact in this place because there is nothing else that we can leave here there is nothing else that can make a lasting impact we can try to build uh, the church we can build the bridge but these are things that they could do themselves so we have to leave something here that no one else has ever brought out <laughs> Guys, one second. I think it is almost ready. It's so, ready. Just, just, oh, just two announcements. Mm. One, um, Rooney and Giggs did us a good job yesterday. Ah. Money won two nil. Yeah. Secondly, yeah. secondly, yeah. let's let's, yeah. let's sit Okay, second. Let's sit. Up. Let's have tea and just sit over here because we have some few things to nini, to do. Najua, akuna akuna kitu kizuri kama uone ile kazi Yesu alisema ukiniamini utafanyika kupita na wewe uone inafanyika wewe mwenyewe ni vizuri sana. Personally mimi nimekuwa siku zote naomba nasema Biblia nasema ni kama hadithi kwangu kwa sababu Yesu anaambiwa alikuwa kwako. Amen. Amen. Akiwa kama miguu kama mimi hivi lakini mimi sikumuona kama chai. Amen. 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 Hawa wanahubiri Yesu ile ambaye alikuwa kwa anayesema na ndiye atakayekuja. Amen. Amen. So ni haki yetu manake. That's our right. Amen. Kudai Bwana atibitishe matendo yale ya kimitume because we are now the apostles. Go into all the world mm -hmm. and preach the good news to all creation. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved, but whoever does not believe will be condemned. Yeah. And these are the signs that will accompany those who believe, and that is all of us who believe. Amen. Amen. These signs are, in Jesus' name, he says, in my name, they will drive out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up snakes with their hands, and when they drink deadly poison, it will not hurt them at all. They will place their hands on sick people, and they will get well. Amen. Amen. So and after this, Jesus was taken up into heaven and sat at the right hand of God. So Amen. that is the last command that he gave us to go out and preach his word to these disciples and believe that you will tear out those demons. You will heal the sick. You have the power. You are all wired. So we got this and no one can harm you. Nothing will harm you at all. So we had the generator come yesterday and uh, apparently it just could not start. <laughs> 
uh, and we had different uh, interpretations as to why that was, uh, whether it was fuel or whatever. And the amazing thing is that everything seemed to be okay because there was fuel, the generator had been uh, ex uh, used before and it was meant to be working, but it just didn't come on. And we just set out a team to start praying uh, and that got resolved. Uh, someone just touched a few things and it came on. Um, we had a couple of challenges after that, that was just the beginning. The next technical hurdle we had to cross was um, having the, the movie uh, on the comp play. Uh, apparently it was playing on the comp but it couldn't show on the screen, <laughs> the projector. Yet everything else could show apart from the, the, the movie player. Uh, that was playing the video and that had a whole set of challenges um, but we prayed we had that resolved uh, then we we, we, we we couldn't get what was the what was the other challenge that we couldn't get to the file of the actual movie we needed to play <laughs> it was corrupt <laughs> This is now the third day. What? You can't, you can't believe it. Now we're going out for missions door to door. We're going to pray for the people in this place. Hey, by the way, door to door. Lakini Milango Zikombali. We're hoping to enjoy ourselves. We're going to be praying uh, for the people, uh, laying hands on them. We just declared the portion, in fact, the double portion of the apostles. Eh? Uh, we met a uh, Amze called uh, Katana, and he was uh, very. Uh, recipient to us and to the Word of God and uh, uh, this gospel of Christ is really working I mean these guys are so uh, hungry for the Word of God and we thank God that we were able to pray and to prepare ourselves and we are seeing the fruits you know of outreach and this is all glory to God and we want to actually thank everyone that is supporting this mission that indeed the, the, the laborers are few and the harvest is really plenty. We've really seen God working in homes, people receiving Christ and uh, they are so hungry for the word of God and we are so blessed and encouraged to move on to the next home. So come along with me and see what the Lord is doing. We have come to this place. Uh, and I think this the, this man is saying that he has two wives and he's been a religious person. He has been going to church, he's been baptized, but I think the, the, the thing that he, 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 doesn't, he hasn't yet done, it's about confessing God. And that's what, what we have done. We have prayed with him, he's, he's received Jesus Christ as his son of Savior. And he's, he's very welcoming. Yeah, he's, he's talking about coming for the cinema in the, in the afternoon. Yeah. We've just left the home of Bwana Lewa and the wife is Christine. And uh, Christine shared with us that she had been a believer, but uh, for a year now she, she fell off. She stopped believing and she stopped being in the faith. And she says that she's seen so much trouble since then uh, in her home. So we, we just shared with her the word of God. Uh, we shared with her the parable of the sower about uh, that uh, we also have an enemy and who, who, who aims to, to steal away our faith. And she believed, she responded and she said, I want to believe again. And so we just prayed with her and she's accepted, she's rededicated her life and the life of her children to God. And we're just excited. We're really Amen. excited. Yes. We're really excited about what has happened. Amen. Um, I saw like a crow eh? leaving their home and going, then it reaches some place, then it comes back to the ground and it gets burnt. Yeah? I do not know what that means. Maybe now that I'm sharing, you guys might know. But that crow reached a certain place in the air, then it dropped down. Yeah, so those, that is one of my profound stories I'm to write in my life. So I just told her, okay, fine, what is your problem? And then she told me she has a stomachache, uh, which I will mention shortly after this, uh, about the stomachache issue. So I, I was like, okay, I listened to her, then I asked her, you want me to pray for you? Then she said yes. So I took that opportunity, I prayed for her, and also prayed that God is going to save her. Then after that, I closed the prayer and I asked her again, do you want to give your life to Christ? Then she said yes. Then I led her through the 
through the prayer. And then after that, uh, Rina, we went to another homestead. Yeah, that one we had, we got a very, okay, the people, the people were nice. And actually one of the people who had helped us with the luggage had gone, uh, was coming, was coming from that homestead. And then one, one, um, the MZ was quite hard, yeah? he, he said he wouldn't, he's not made up his mind. But as we were having a conversation, Rina was talking to another lady, and even her, she gave her life to Christ. And then after that, that's when we were able to go to, we went to that homestead that we, we prayed to, we prayed uh, with, with these two women, and also Winston got to prophesy in another homestead. So we met this guy, he has uh, four wives. He had four wives, now he has three, one first one. And he's from Cumberland. And Chero had talked about him. Like Chero, that's the side that she saw. Me, the side that I saw was so different. Because as soon as I sat in front of him, I fell asleep. As in nothing, like nothing, nothing was cutting. I started calling on the blood of Jesus. Nothing. Like even the questions, like I would hear, I would hear Humphrey speak and I would feel like she's so far. I started calling on the blood of Jesus. Mm -mm. Things were tight. So Humphrey told me to go and sit behind there and intercede. So I stood up, I went and sat a bit far from him, and I could now I could breathe properly and I could like I felt things were okay. And I started praying and I saw dust, you know like how it is in a desert. But now the dust was like around the the house is here. We are seated around the house and there was dust like coming towards us. Like uh, it's like a protection around the house. Uh, man, I told I told Jack, can we please intercede? But I was, I was like, can we please intercede? Now the chief we had gone with also fell asleep. We had another pastor from here. He fell asleep, and uh, I don't know. Jack fell asleep at some point and then woke up. And then for Humphrey, he couldn't bring himself to tell the guy to give his life to Christ. Every time he wanted to say it, he just struggled with it. But the guy was asking, like he knew the word, like he would say things like, you know, Jesus when he went to places and preached, did people ask him questions? And they're like, yeah, okay, I'm asking a question. Before he opens his mouth, me, I'm asleep. Like, I slept like three times, like, and we were there for so long, for like an hour. So I'm very humbled by the way when people just receive you, because my fear was they would hate me for not being able to speak the language. Yeah. So it's hard, but it's also exciting, and it's also very humbling to have anointed people of God, allowing you to still speak regardless of the fact that you can't speak the language well. Ah ah, apa apa juga. Kone? Jo, kalau nak apa baru itu tinggi. Eh, udah itu, dah fikir apa? Eh, so kalau nak apa kata apa baru itu tinggi. Kita si kubu. Nada jengga cho, jengga cho. All this time we've been going to the forest with the jambe man. Hi. Right now we decided to go nai round again back to the 21st century. Hey, itu nada jengga cho, jengga cho. Andre Soban. Again. 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 Jadi bujuran, nyaman nyaman nyaman, nyaman nyaman nyaman, ya sungguhlah, ya muzi, ya ngombe, ya sangaki, ya kondo, ya ngurue, nyaman, 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 ya punya. Um, the speakers are not bringing out sound. Uh, we're having also a challenge. Uh, yesterday we had a challenge with the computer and uh, for the, the CD that was supposed to play is not yet here yet. And uh, the crowd is beginning to gather. But we're believing that we'll be able to get all those things together so that we can have a good video show and then also be able to you know get some some, some comments at the end of the of the video show. 
Okay. So, uh, you'll be one of the bondages. What you do when he gets to your station, you give him the cup to drink, then you tie his leg or some place. Yeah. Then we will turn us. Then you tie him. Yeah. No, because he's trying to get to Jesus, who, at the, who is at the end of the, of the aisle of Jesus. Yeah. And um, we had a mom, Pastor Rogo had just finished preaching and then he asked people to uh, come and give their lives to Christ. And um, so as we started praying, we just felt the Holy Spirit move. It was amazing. <laughs> this woman just started screaming, like making a huge, like a yelling noise and started crying. So we prayed for her. And um, she was really sort of panicked and um, she, I don't know how to explain it, but she, she, just, she just kept crying. And then her children came along and both of them, uh, they, couldn't, they couldn't talk. And um, so we started praying for them, we prayed for them, we prayed for them. And then, um, we were about to give up and then we thought, okay, no, keep going. Someone came with anointing oil. We anointed their ears so that they may hear what it is that we're asking them to say. And also their, uh, we anointed their mouth as well. And then the children started speaking. goodness it was amazing they they started saying um, one and yesu and um, and then they could even say our names which was really great and we just felt this you know God saying that they were healed it's been a good day it doesn't only happen on Benny Hill yeah <laughs> it happened right here with us interns and uh, I think the coolest part of it is we were all used, all of us. Um, it wasn't just a case where anyone could sit down and not do anything. Everyone was needed. Everyone is important. Um, Who would have thought that you would come all the way here to solve technical issues on a comp? I mean, come on. Uh, Paula Musuba was absolutely amazing. Same with Mark, Pastor Sam. I mean, the kind of stuff we went through today, mm. uh, honestly, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was only five hours in, of interceding. You know, you normal everyday stuff. We bind every strong man 
mm. over this homestead. Yes. Yes. We pull down every stronghold in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Lord, we pray a prayer of covering over this homestead. Mm. Yes. Um, we were just meeting and we had this woman screaming. So we uh, thought we should go and check out the place when we found her in the house screaming and and we we took her out of the house we prayed for her and it took a while for her to to receive the the, the prayers because she was in a lot of pain I think she she has she has had an operation so the the pain was too much it just came but what we sensed was it was kind of an attack and the, the locals were telling us that she normally comes to church, then it happens, then she confesses that her demons are back. But we, we've just prayed and prayed over our house and everything, and we believe that from today there'll be a, a transformation in the house and her life will not be the same again. Actually, I was a little bit shaking because it was my first time to speak in a public place, a crowded place, and I was a bit frightened. I thought I might. I might miss some English words and, and Giriyama words, which I was not fond of speaking. But I'm just saying, the way God created us, the man is the one who's supposed to begin new things, new projects. But all the way God helped me, I translated from English to Giriyama language in a nice manner and the people were blessed, we had a nice time and most people got saved. Wow, it's another day, the fourth day. Hey, hey I can't believe we're now like running so fast, six more days to go. But now we're excited, this house is the house of the Lord, Yani, the church. Uh, and so today we see it's not complete, uh, it just begun. And today all the interns are saying, Kanisa Lita Jengo Anaki Na Nani, Na interns, oh oh, Na interns, oh oh. So we want to build the church. Uh, some guys are going to be getting the Makuti, Ukuzinetwa Marara. When they come Tony, uh, when they Kuleta Marara, when they come to the Kamchanga Chini, Matope Matope, when they come to the Kamchanga Chini, Matope Matope, when they come to the Kamchanga Chini, Matope Matope, when they come to the Kamchanga Chini, So we want to make sure that this church today, uh, in Aisha. Uh, we need to get to build the church. I don't know for how long we'll be walking. Manze, here guys tell you we'll walk for an hour. Uh, multiply that by three. <laughs> but anyway, uh, hope to get there soon. Cut down some trees and finish the church construction. Yeah. This is it. This is out. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we are cutting trees. Uh, we're gonna use them for the church construction. And so we are just working together. Uh, trying to energize each other. So, so far we have cut one, one tree, and uh, the work is going on. Um, it's not easy, but they just crossed a river, and uh, so muddy, slippery, I almost fell down. But I thank God I'm here, and the work, the job is getting done. <laughs> we are finally there. We are. We've been cutting these these logs with such uh, these tools, and the purpose is we are building a church. And uh, to be honest, it's one of the most difficult things to have uh, have done so far. Yeah, but we're, we're looking good. This is the river we're about to cross. It's a bit muddy, but uh, we're gonna make it by the grace of God. Jesus, 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 well done, well done, well done, well done. It's the most difficult task I've ever done in my life. <laughs> I think it's, it's worth it. It's worth every 
It's worth every ounce of the energy. <laughs> uh, we're building the toilet for the church. And um, Cheryl, help me put this down. Oh, goodness. Ah. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, girl. I don't know how you can yeah. handle that. So what we do is that we have the men put the sticks together like that in a certain pattern. And then we mix the mud. It's not the mud, it's actually so soil that we get from some random place at the back. We mix it with water nicely. We make, we make round things like that. And then are we, mud we place them in between the into in between the patterns that have been made by by sticks. We're just getting in Changa for building the walls. The walls for the toilets. Yeah, for this toilet. Just be great. That's true. Two. Before all we, 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 we needed like a hole. Mm -hmm. Make go make a nice little hole. Mm -hmm. too much sand, and uh yeah. Do your business. Do your business. Mm -hmm. But this this will make everything much easier. It's uh sort of a modern toilet. Mm -hmm. But uh you don't flush. Okay, so uh, how does flush. the how does the business it, go down? Your business goes down. It has been made in such a way that uh there's a pipe leading out your business mm -hmm. that it just goes out. Um, today, one of the I was I was actually going to the to the to the kitchen, and one of the ladies told me about her daughter who was not feeling well, and she was bedridden. And we said that we offered to go and pray for her in, in, in at her home. But before we did, she actually came here, and as we were, we were planning to pray for her, she actually told us she had HIV, and and she had been under so much oppression, and she was from a broken marriage, and really got to pray for her, and God spoke into our lives that we're gonna we, we actually got to pray against HIV. She's not been tested yet, but we believe that God has done it. And it was such an overwhelming experience to go through that whole session of deliverance and, and to see what God was doing in that life. Ladies and gentlemen, news straight off the ground, straight from Intonsville. Something new, something fresh, something amazing has just happened. And we'll take you live now to the ground where our reporter is turning right by to tell you exactly what's happened. Yes, even though I'm sputtering over my words, something amazing is happening anyway. Over to you, reporter on the ground. Yes, 
Well, something truly amazing has happened. As you can see, this was me when I came to Katsangani. <laughs> now look at me. I am grown. It's truly amazing that I can hold myself and see where I came from. The Bible truly is amazing. You can't make this stuff up. Back to you in studio. <clears throat> Yes, this is me, Studio. Yes, that's actually my name. I am Studio. Thank you very much for joining us here on Internsville. Please join us again when we will have more breaking news because God does not stop. Good night and God bless.